Welcome back, everyone. You know the old saying, love conquers all, right? But is love the most important aspect of a relationship? A new article suggests it's actually trust that can make it or break it. Joining me now today for Real Talk is comedian and author Amy Lyle, a licensed marriage and family therapist, Hal Runkel, and making her Real Talk debut, owner of Atlanta Girls Club, <laughs> Kathy Welch. Welcome, Kathy. So hey. excited to see you. Thank All you. right, uh, Kathy, I'll start with you. So what do you think? Is trust more important than love? Absolutely. 100% it is. So this did not surprise you, this article? No, it yeah. doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, if you don't have trust in a relationship, then you don't have security, you don't have commitment. Um, it's probably not long-term. Right. And I think that's in our relationships with our friends as well as with our partners, spouses. Sure. Right, with anybody mm -hmm. important in with your life. With anybody important, yeah, you have to have that stability of trust and that faith. Yes, and how I'm sure, and just knowing you the way I do, this is a oh, yes? I totally disagree. You disagree? I disagree with the premise of the question. Okay, so of it's course. It's not love or trust. What is it? Self-respect. It's the foundation of the relationship. Self-respect. Self-respect, because no one's gonna respect you more than you respect yourself. And so when you go in needing to be able to trust somebody, so I need to be able to trust you, which means I don't want you to respond however you might respond. I want you to respond in the way I need you to respond. Right. And that's because I don't that feel secure in and of myself. Right. So if I say trust is foundation, basically what I'm saying is I need to be able to trust you before I'll ever trust you, which is right. impossible. Right. right? Now, I will say, I don't know if you saw our love doctors, but I think yeah. that's what it was getting to the heart of. When you have someone and you're going back and forth with people, and again, it, close to home with me, yeah. I didn't have the self-respect at that time. Right. I certainly didn't trust him because we weren't, we didn't know where we stood. True. So having that self-respect, you're absolutely right. Love, you're going to respect yourself to is. be treated in the way that you deserve to be treated. And respect yourself enough to risk the intimacy that every relationship eventually requires. But it's a risk because I don't know exactly how you're gonna respond. Right. Mm -hmm. I can have hopes mm -hmm. for how you're gonna respond, but if I need you to respond that way, then basically I'm saying don't be yourself. Right. Just be the person no, I, I need, need you to be. I need certain responses. Right. You do. <laughs> exactly. and, and what if you need for them to stop dating other people? Right. Yeah. yeah. Or what, I you, need what if you need that? Them to, sure. yeah. uh, absolutely, you, Kathy. You, then you can uh, say that. Right. I think the trust is like a house of cards. So I need, like, that's one thing I love about my husband is I trust him with making wise decisions at work and always work with integrity. I trust him with our finances. I trust him yep. that he has the best awesome. interest of our children and mine yep. when he's you know, making decisions. And if you have all those trust items and one of them comes out, it's really damaging right. to the relationship. So mm -hmm. I feel like I, you know, have a lot of self-respect, and and so then I expect that, you know, from others. Sure. And then it, and sometimes it goes like this, right? If you're having a um, financial crisis or something, a health crisis, right. yeah. that really reveals a well, lot of integrity. I, yes. Exactly. And I love mm -hmm. your metaphor. It's a house of cards that can easily come down with mm -hmm. one misstep. Mm -hmm. So that can't be a foundation. Right. right. And how many right? have how many have a, had a lot of love? Earlier, let's say college, yeah. and, and not really a lot of trust. Oh gosh, you know, you're like, I, I, love, him. I love, love him. I love him. I love him. And now, and now, what would you call that? Oh, lust. Right. And, yeah. Yeah. Right. And just right. You're a, a um, fascinated. Right. And that's liking. A right. liking. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Not that's um, not all right. Liking. The psychologist uh, weighed in with this quote: uh, "For a committed relationship to work, love is simply not enough." I think you would agree with that, Hal. Yeah, though, hold I do. your thoughts. Do. Trust involves being able to think about someone else's needs, making choices that respect your partner's worldview and values. Kathy, would you agree with that? I do. Yeah. I absolutely do. I think that I, I, I agree partly with mm -hmm. what you say. I think that the foundation for any relationship is having self-respect, mm -hmm. but we don't control what other people do. We right. can only control how we react to that. Yep. So um, true. So, yeah, I think that's absolutely on target. But right. I, I want my spouse to be free to respond however she is, because what I want is for her to genuinely want me. But if I have made yeah. it where you're yeah. supposed to meet my needs, then you are doing this out of obligation, and I don't know if that's actually coming from a place where this is what you genuinely feel. Wait, but can't, right? but weren't mm. we supposed to set up those parameters? Like, hopefully, when we're first courting someone and you know yeah. it's getting more serious, it's okay that Jim knows. Uh, isn't it okay for me to be heard? Sure. And, and I'm not going to feel like he's being disingenuous when he's meeting those needs? Well, that's the only area the where I'm disagreeing with you. Here's here. where it gets tricky. I don't need my wife. I don't need anything from her. 
ever. She is not so powerful that she can meet my needs. I don't want to need my wife, I want to want her. And so we so, we so, I love you, I need you, right? Here's what I told my daughter her whole life. Look, guy says, I love you, I need you, I can't live without you. You say, well, it's a good thing, my dad's a therapist, because <laughs> we can get you the help that you need. Because that is not romantic to need. Needing, right? okay, it's, good That's point. diagnosable yeah. to need. And so if I need you to behave a certain way before I will behave a certain way, then I'm asking you to be more mature or be whatever before I will. We, love and, is risky. And we don't mm -hmm. want to guilt right? trip people. In no, it. definitely exactly. not. It's, it's right. not about that. I definitely mean, I don't think not. trust is about guilt tripping somebody to be whatever. No, Let it's them net. be themselves. Right. And hopefully Encourage the that. self that they want to be is the person with you and I love what who's you open said. and honest. Right? Yes. And you described a wonderful relationship that you love, you trust your husband to do all these things. But mm -hmm. you, you didn't before he did them. No, and that's the problem right? when you first start dating, and we tell yeah. our children that all the time. And it's so yeah. funny because my grandma used to say that she's like, "Get a man with integrity," and I'm like, "What are you talking about? I've seen his shoulders and his brows." Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> right. And then yeah. later, yeah. boy, yeah. does that whoops, what does that, that kind of scream, food scream, food. scream, yeah. uh, sure. scream through with the? Uh, Isn't it funny the little things that? Because my mom used to always just say, "I hope you find a man worthy of you," mm -hmm. and I used to be like, "Ooh, that sounds so weak. What do you mean worthy <laughs> of me? Like I'm yeah. a queen bee?" But I get it. We all need to find people who are worthy of right. us because our self-respect is where it should be. But if trust is lost, mm -hmm. do you think it can be restored? And we actually, that's yes. my form. That's a bigger question. Um, yeah. Listen, on Twitter, we asked you to weigh in. And right now, leading in the Twitter poll is maybe. Mm. Depends on the partner. Yes, it takes work. No, don't cross me. Maybe, which makes a lot of sense. Trend, is it still leading? Yeah, 67% say maybe. It depends on the partner, and I think that is absolutely true. Here's the problem. It's not a yes or no. It, it's yeah. not a yes it's or not. no. Right. It, it depends. But here's the problem is you cannot actually earn trust. Because you cheat on your spouse. How long do you have to not cheat on your spouse in order to prove that you're not going to cheat on your spouse again? You can't prove that you're not going to that's do a, something. That's a tough one. I'll, I'll use my right. uh, ex-husband as an example. Great guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're friends to this day. Uh, it didn't work, it work out. I didn't trust him. And I also didn't like the women he dated. So <laughs> there that, you was, go. that was a problem. You got yes. standards. There, there you go. Yeah. Right. I've so seen relationships yeah. be repaired from all kinds yep. of different things. And it's amazing. And sometimes... Uh, that whatever if it's cheating or if it's drugs mm -hmm. or it's financial Money problems, or, yeah. it's, yeah. it's like your earlier segment. It's not about that. It was about something else. Right. And then they get some really solid counseling and they come back and their relationship. It's not even I want to get back to what we had. It's Why better. Why would you? Right. You want to get better. And it makes, I, it sometimes makes you can both of you better. And right. here's what I tell How often does that happen, though, Hal? What you not see? as often as we would hope, but uh, I will I, tell you this. I figured as much. When couples come to work with me, for instance, I say, look, you are not going to stay married. If you work with me, you're either going to be married in a much better way or you're going to get divorced in a good way. Right. But mm -hmm. staying married the way you have been where married is why you're here in the first place. Exactly. So yes. both of you are going to have good to learn point. a different type of functioning. But the deal is I cannot, you know what, say I have to earn, you have to earn my trust. No, regardless of how much he say, goes without, he does perfect behavior forever. Yeah. I still have to risk in trusting myself yes. again. Right. And who right? is the time? Like these women that track their husbands, it's uh, like, oh my, right. my husband works downtown. He could have yes. an entire family. I don't know. Did, yeah. Right. It's like, <laughs> I, Jimmy is in Gwinnett. I don't right. know what goes on right. in but Gwinnett County. That's about being vulnerable too. Right. Yep. You know? Yes. So and that's okay sometimes. Right. The oh. ultimate trust is I trust myself. That right. even if I risk, even if I get hurt, I'm still going to be okay. And if I can do that, then I can risk and it, open myself up. In our Facebook poll, is trust more important than love? Of course. I, this does not surprise me. Right. Uh, most of you said absolutely. Trust is key. Mm -hmm. Trust is key. Haley, how much do we have, uh, time do we have? Because I want to ask one last question. One, okay, one minute. Qu wrap it up. Is it easy to forgive a family member or friend more so than your partner if they've broken your trust? Yes. 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 Because I agree. you're not entrusting nearly as much, as much. to them as yeah. you do to your spouse. Right. And you sleep next to them. Right. And if they betray you, you're like... You're like... Oh. <laughs> right, I don't even know you. Right, how I'm dare you? you? Yeah, it is true. It, it's it's true. But we would love for you to continue to weigh in. And I, I like what Hal said. In fact, so here's the article that we're basing it on. Hal would rip it right up and say it's not about love or trust. It's self about self-respect. Yep. I love that. Well said, Kathy. Thank you. My pleasure. Come My back pleasure. anytime. We love you, Hal, thank Amy, you. of course. My and pleasure. trending with Trent is coming up next. Woo! He is somebody I love and trust. There you go. <laughs>